Hey guys, my name is Chaz Foster, and I'm here today to show you the basics of basketball. All right, so first thing we're going to talk about, guys, is dribbling the basketball, and that's probably the most essential part in the game of basketball. All right, next the thing that we're going to cover is we're going to cover shooting, and we're going to be talking about form and the best way to get your shot up. All right, guys, so first we're going to talk about dribbling, and the key element to dri dribbling is you don't want to have the ball in the palm of your hand because you're not going to have control over it. Always want to keep the ball in your fingertips so that you can control where the ball is going to go more. I'm going to teach you three basic moves that goes with dribbling. And what I'm going to teach you is a crossover, an in and out, and a behind the back dribble. Alright, so first move that I'm going to teach you today is a simple crossover. And it might sound a little bit complicated, but it's not at all. All you're doing is you're switching from one hand to another. You can switch from left to right or right to left. I'm going to show you from this side as we from right to left. So you're going to do the exact same thing like I told you before. You're going to keep the ball in your fingertips so that way you have more control over it. So if you're coming down and approaching the defender, keep the ball in your fingertips and you dribble down. Now here, so that you have an extra element, you're going to kind of take, don't pick up your dribble, but you're going to keep the dribble and you're going to take a step this way. Now, instead of keeping going this way, you're going to switch hands and cross the ball over below your knees. That's the most important part so that the defender can't get to it. So, step by step, if you're coming down, dribble. Alright, next move I'm going to show you is an in and out. So with an in and out, if you come dribbling down, you're going to act like you're doing a crossover. You're going to bring the ball over it like you're doing a crossover, or you're going to put your hand back over it and bring it back the same way that you're going. And again, the same thing, you're going to keep an element, you're going to add your footwork into it, so you step, act like you're going to go with the crossover, Put your hand over it, and you're still going the same way that you kept on going. And you're going to the basket. Alright, and the last move I'm going to show you for today is how to do behind the back. You're going to be coming down, you're going to switch hands while you're doing it. And when you're switching hands, instead of going in front of you like a crossover, all you're doing is you're coming down and you're going to go behind your back with the ball. Now, when you're coming down, you don't want to pick the ball up like this go behind your back because it's going to be a carry. So whenever you come down and you go to do a behind the back, you need to make sure that your hand is on the side of the ball so that you don't get a carry and get out in front of you when you want to go. So slow down, you're just going to come down, dribble, dribble, you're going to get the ball, go behind your back, and make sure that you cup it on the side so that you don't carry, and then you go with the other hand, you go straight to the basket. Alright guys, next thing we're going to cover is we're going to cover shooting. And there's a basic form that you're going to use with shooting. And one thing, the first thing you need to know is with shooting, you're never going to use two hands. You don't want to push forward or push up like this using one hand the whole time. This is just a guide hand so that when you shoot, the ball doesn't slip out or slip left or right or anything. So whenever you're practicing your form, always try and practice with one hand. The basic form you're going to use is you want to make two right angles. First one is you're going to make with your elbow and your arm connecting. So you're going to see right angle here, well, close to a right angle. You're going to have a right angle here, and you have a right angle, almost right angle, with your wrist coming down to your arm. And what this is, is going step by step, your arm here, what it is going to do is it's just going to push out and forward, which is going to make the ball go out towards the basket. And what your wrist is doing is your wrist is flicking to get the ball, to get the ball up in the air so that it can get the height to travel to the basket. So whenever you're practicing, make sure that you keep your form like this. And you can always practice one-handed if you can. And make sure that you're using the whole thing. And it's move forward with your arm and then flick with your wrist. And that's how it works. Alright guys, so today we've covered dribbling, shooting, passing. Remember when you're dribbling, always try and keep the, your, the ball in your fingertips. Remember the three moves I showed you, the crossover, in and out, and behind the back. And with shooting, whenever you shoot, always make sure that you keep those two right angles in your arm, and always try and use your wrist, mo the wrist motion, to get the ball up in the air. And that's all that I have for today, guys, so thanks for watching my video. I hope I really helped you out.